But take your Bibles, if you would, and turn to Revelation. I apologize, I have a cough drop in. <clears throat> My voice was breaking there. <clears throat> Revelation chapter number 6. Uh, we are to a very uh, interesting chapter. This is when things begin to really uh, start um, unraveling. And uh, things begin to look, the outlook doesn't look good for those who are in this time. This is some of the unveiling of the wrath, the unsealing of the wrath, if you will. Matter of fact, that's the title I've given the message tonight, the unsealing of the wrath of the Lamb, uh, who is uh, beginning to judge those who have rejected Him, those who have turned away from Him. And really all of this is uh, for the purpose, it's twofold purpose, it is to judge those who are upon this earth that have rejected the gift of God, uh, but it's also for the purpose of making jealous Israel and uh, drawing Israel back to Him. And so we find uh, really some uh, some very uh, scary and terrifying things here, but the end is something much better than the beginning. Some find it hard to swallow that God would allow a tribulation period, appointing its placement to the period in which we live now thinking somehow that God's judgment is so small in rejecting His Son that it would be as mere as our minor tribulations of common day pains. If you've never heard this taught, uh, there's quite a few that teach that we're living in the tribulation period. There's some who teach we're living in the, uh, the millennial reign right now. We've already gone through the tribulation period. What they're doing is they're minimizing, ultimately, God's love. They're cheapening God's love for us. In John 3.16, the Bible says, For God so loved the world that He gave...